We set out on a mission to make a programme that entertains two to four year olds. I mean, Pepper was our first look at actually perhaps doing something which was capable of a longer run, capable of international appeal and was scalable. Pepper is eminently scalable. We can do a pretty much an episode about anything. I did lots of little businesses. I had a Christmas tree business and a shoe business and a photography business and they were all a disaster and every time they went bust I, or disappeared I'd try something else. And in the end I tried this little shirt business. I did something very important at the beginning which was I decided that, and I did this with all the businesses I did or which all failed, I decided that this was going to be my life. It's really, really important literally on day one to actually line up all your ducks. And actually, you know, there's not a lot of difference between those big businesses and your sort of small business you're starting up. I think it's very, it's very important to have a vision and to be focused. At the beginning it's about learning and I think you need self-belief and you need to have a passion. You've got to believe in what you're doing. When other people are telling you there's no way you can do that, as many people did to me when we were starting out. So you should decide that you want to build a great business, but a great business is a business really that makes a lot of profit. You're either like a hare or a tortoise. And a hare, you raise a load of money and you're off and running and you're up and then you're bust and then you're starting again. I'm just a tortoise and I knew I was just going to plod away. You know, there's no better feeling than when a business is really humming and really doing well. And you need to go through those bad times to understand how, quite how bad it is when it's not going well. And so I always say to people in the business, you know, it's fine to make a mistake, you know, as long as you don't make another mistake. NEF is a really, really interesting thing because when I was in the 80s, when I first had my business, there wasn't really anything like that around at all. Having somebody who can, you can go to and you can talk through problems, you can talk about what you're weak at, what you're strong at. It's an environment where entrepreneurs can get together and can talk about things. Uh, what they've done is formalise uh, what is basically a very sort of chaotic process. And it's just, you know, a massively, massively powerful thing. It's a great feeling, you know, I love it when people come up and they say they love Charles Tyrrell. It just gives me a buzz.